Hey guys, before this video begins, I want to say I recognize that the audio in it pops from time to time. I've been working on this for about five, five and a half hours, and it just seems to be something I can't solve. I have new audio hardware coming overnighting in for tomorrow, so hopefully this goes away. But um, I hope you enjoy the video in spite of a technical flaw. Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and welcome to Tactical Tuesday, a weekly series that's actually about the gameplay. So I always do my best to vary this thing up a little bit, and there's only so much variety in a series where you talk about what's happening on the screen. But normally I grab a game that's not so great. I grab a game that has learning experiences from things that go well and things that go poorly. And this week I thought I'd grab a game where I, I did a pretty good job in this thing. Like, uh, you know, yeah, things went well. So I think about what separates this game from some of my other games. And a big part of it is just slowing down. I remember I played a game with Wings of Redemption, who's a good player despite, you know, people fussing. Um, I played a game with him and I was struggling. It was on Scrapyard. And what he told me was, Woody, run less or sprint less and aim more. And, uh, you know, I know that ties into the whole criticism that people sometimes have of Wings. But he was right. Uh, what's going on right here is I just earned a, a tax helicopter. Why? Because I was using the, those steps to my advantage, letting them funnel in. Uh, my team had AC throughout the majority of that. And now my temptation is to sprint towards a flag. Go get one. Go get B. Go get C. Go get whatever it takes. Because, you know, we've got one flag and we're, we're just about to lose the lead here. The other thing, though, is I've got a helicopter in the sky and let it do a little bit of work here for me. Um, if I remember right, I think that this helicopter earns the next one entirely on its own, but I'll, you know, we'll see that in a second. So rather than sprint into sea, which is seriously dangerous activity, I'm only one kill away from my next uh, kill streak. And there it is. The helicopter just got its second kill, and now I have a strafe run to pull in. So, you know, would it have better, been better for me to sprint to the flag or to wait for my kill streak to do its damage? Eh, I don't know. It's a close call, I think. But uh, sometimes slowing down helps a lot. Now, watch this scene. Embarrassingly, I didn't finish him off. But rather than zip straight in there and chase him, I go behind the forklift and uh, take a position of advantage and finish him off that way. So, you know, what's my point there? Chasing is bad. Chasing is always bad in this game, almost always, and it's so tempting. It's a, it's even more tempting in free for all than it is in domination. You see a guy and you think, "Oh, I'm behind him. I see him. He doesn't see me. Chasing is going to be great." But sprinting across the map is a quick way to die in Call of Duty. So rather than you know get on my horse and and sprint into there where clearly he was set up in the edge waiting for me and I didn't know he was there at first it was a much better idea for me to uh, you know to wait and do that pre-fire pre-firing works so well in this game and I was slow to figure this out um, I used to sit there and aim down sights at everybody everybody it didn't matter if they were you know five feet in front of me but for the first year I played this game I was a uh, you know aiming down sights constantly and there's a double kill but um, the other thing is so look at me here it's hard to win a gunfight against a guy, now I'm about to lose this one, but it's hard to win a gunfight against a guy who's head glitching off of those computers. It's why I was able to cap C and, and get, you know, sit there and defend it for some amount of time. Because, uh, you know, head glitching is effective. I'm surprised, some people still don't know what head glitching is, but in this game, the bullets don't come out of your gun. It looks like it in the first person animation, but the truth is the bullets leave your the top of your character's head that's how it works that's why you know um well whatever that's why you can shoot at a guy even though only one or two pixels are showing you know if you ever had a you know a bad guy and you you know he caps you even though there's only a, a pixel or two showing it's called head glitching and it's part of call of duty and it's to your advantage. You know, the, there's a couple things you can do to set up gunfights to make them work for you, right? You know, the basic categories include head glitching, right? You know, making sure that only a little bit of your body is being shown. The other is controlling when the fight starts. Uh, if you, let's say I'm crouched behind a barrel. When I pop up and start shooting, I'm the guy that gets to instantly you know, to start shooting. I am the guy that gets to pre-fire. Uh, you are the guy that has to react to me. And it's not just your reaction time. It's also, you know, the lag, the latency. You know, I know about what's going on before you even see it, let alone have a chance to react to it. 
And here's another thing I'm doing in this game, which is slowing down, right? It, it, I guess you could argue that it's camping, but I'm one kill off of my next kill streak, and I have a couple of choices. I can either sprint towards A, towards a horrible position, by the way. You know, it, look, there was a guy down there. I would have, remember at the start of this game when I quickly got an attack chopper because I had this great position of advantage. I was sort of head glitching off those steps. This is the opposite situation. Is it smart to sprint towards those steps? When you're one kill off your uh, your next kill streak, I don't think so, and uh, and this kind of sucks. I was one kill off the pavlo when a stealth bomber took me out, so uh, I, I would have had another pavlo in this game. But you'll see, it's still a pretty good game. All right, what happens next is I come here, I cap a flag, and now we're triple capping them, right? There's, there's three flags, and I don't know where they're coming from. I don't know where the spawn is anymore. I, I'm, I'm getting flashed. <laughs> the whole world is a mess. So, you know, what's what do I do next? I start running around and leading with stuns and nades. Uh, I don't know if they're in CDOM, so I throw a nade down there to see if I'm going to get a hit marker. I don't know if they're up there, so I toss a stun up in the sky to see what's, gonna, what's waiting for me as I round these corners. Uh, in this case, it didn't work out, but it's not a good idea to be really frugal with your nades and stuns, right? You know, think about what your actual KD is, right? You know, what's your real KD? Are you uh, 0.5, 1.5, 2, 2 and a quarter? You know, 2 and a quarter is actually pretty good KD, <laughs> um, and then some of you are up there at 3. But I would guess that a lot of you are dying with nades and stuns left in your pocket all the time. And, uh, you know, I, I once heard somebody say, well, Fear Crads doesn't use his stayed nuns, sorry, stuns and nades until he has his specialist. Well, yeah, but Fear Crads is doing something different. He, he's not playing for normal games. He's playing for those really exceptional standout games where, you know, he gets Moabs and, and double Moabs and things like that. So in a situation like his, it makes sense to really conserve your ammo, uh, your nades and stuns. But if you're a regular person just looking to get good scores, then throw that stuff out there. Do it. You know, they, I, I've had classes like in Black Ops where, you know, I only run, what, uh, the 8, 9, and 11 kill streaks, right? Dude, those kill streaks are only helpful when you're already going to win the game, right? If you're getting those kinds of kill streaks, then the game was already assured, you know? It, it, people don't usually call in Blackbirds, Chopper Gunners, and Attack Killer, whatever that 11 one is called, the next Chopper Gunner, in Black Ops, and uh, lose the game, right? If you're doing that well, then, then things are going great for you to defend. But, uh, yeah, so there's a difference between trying to get exceptional super games and trying to do well every game. And when you're trying to do well every game, throw your nades and stuns, it'll help you. So um, I tried to vary things up by going to the other side to clean that guy up, and uh, it was too slow. My teammate got him first. So here, I don't know what this clown is doing, <laughs> trying to shoot down my helicopter through the roof or something. But uh, yeah, so I think I have my second, I don't know if my second payload is in the area yet. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it is. And um, I see these guys going for that care package, right? Two of them are rushing, trying to pick it up. So I'm like, this thing's not a fake. You know, if they're trying to grab it, then, uh, then it, it's probably legit. So I set it up right here to close down the dome, and boom. Now we have a dom, provided that I can just, you know, defend it from this corner right there, because the dome is, is covered. And I don't think that thing actually gets any kills, but um, it's all good. So, um, so yeah, the yeah, if there are any takeaways from this, it would be use your stuns and nades. They're going to help you. And then you know, before you go around a corner, before you enter a room, before you do any of those things, it's real smart to lead with one of those, just so you know what's coming. Um, the other thing is slow down a little bit. Uh, you know, you don't want to be accused of camping. <laughs> that that's you know, no one likes that. No one likes playing against a camper. But oh, too many people for this gun. But um, it's also not such a horrible idea to just you know, if you're one off your kill streak. To, you know, be a little extra careful in that one and uh, and earn your next kill streak, especially when they stack like they do in this game. So, uh, yeah, one of the differences between this game and my more ordinary games is that I just took it a little easy. I, I slowed down. I let my kill streaks earn more kill streaks, and um, it turned into a 50 and 5 performance, which is not a bad game. So, um, I hope you guys like Tactical Tuesday and. Until next time, here's your outro. All right, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on like. If you're new around here and you enjoyed it, you can click on subscribe in the top right and see future stuff from me. Two vids you may have missed, I'll let you read the descriptions on your own and have a good day.